So in this unit, we're going to start um, just applying things that we've already done. For the most part, we're done with new material um, for the regular part of this class. And um, so now we're going to look at some applications. And the first one your book looks at is statics. This has always kind of been like one of the most dreaded units uh, for a lot of people taking freshman physics because these, these problems really involve, um, you know, setting up and accounting for a lot of forces. Uh, and if you miss one little thing, then it's going to completely throw your answer off. So there's a lot of places for mistakes in these problems. In fact, uh, for a lot of you, I would recommend um, skipping this unit and going to the next unit on linear motion, just because that one you're going to see show up a lot more um, on exams like the MCAT and on, uh, and on the final for this class. Um, but statics is also an important one that, that you'll see a lot um, when you're taking exams. So it's good to go over these. Um, so for those of you who have time to do both, I would, you know, you, you should definitely do both because this is part of the class. Um, but if you only have time for one unit left, I would skip this unit now uh, and go into the next one on linear motion uh, and systems of, uh, and coupled systems because I think that's going to be a lot more useful for you. Um, but for statics, um, this is really like the entire process is, is very co complicated. There's an entire engineering course uh, on this, but it really lies down to, a, to one basic problem. Um, so for example, let's say we have, you know, a wall and a floor and we have a ladder that's leaning up against the wall. <clears throat> now we know there's going to be some coefficient of friction between the ladder and the floor uh, and, and also probably another one between the ladder and the wall. Although in a lot of cases we, we neglect the latter friction. And so we want to find out, you know, how, how steep can we make this? So what can we make this angle theta so that the ladder doesn't slip? <clears throat> or more importantly, let's say we have somebody going up the ladder, you know, like a firefighter or something, uh, and we want him to be able to go up. And so we want to be able to find out how far can he go up the ladder before the ladder is going to slip and he falls down. <clears throat> so, so these are the types of problems that we're going to cover in this unit. And the basic principle is we're going to sum up all the forces and find the net force, and we set that to zero, right? Because the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And so, you know, static is when we talk about something being static, we're saying something's not moving. So if something's not moving, then it has no acceleration. So if there's no acceleration, then there's no force. Um, but it also means something else. We're also going to sum up the torques. And we're going to see that if we sum up all of the torques on the system, again, um, I, th I think you can guess what this is going to be. Because we know that the torque is R cross F. And again, if we're not moving, then that means that there's no force. So that means the torque is also going to be zero. So, um, so that's what these problems basically involve. So it seems simple enough, right? We, we sum up all the forces to zero. We sum up all the, the, sorks, the torques and set them to zero. Um, and, and then we solve the problem. So, you know, we're not moving linearly. We're not rotating. Um, and while it seems simple enough, uh, and, and in certain ways it is, even uh, when I was taking this in physics, like this was always kind of like the most dreaded unit in the class. You know, I like every time I would get to an exam and I would see a ladder, you know, staring back at me, it was just like, you know, the bane of my existence. So, you know, if, so if these problems seem, you know, difficult to you, despite, you know, the simplicity of, uh, of the general idea behind them, that's okay. Because these, you know, these problems can be, you know, a lot to deal with. Uh, so, you know, in the next, so I'm not, I don't really have anything else to tell you about theory behind this, uh, in this unit. So basically the rest of the unit is just going to be working different types of problems. So you can see how, um, you know, see the techniques that are used to solve, uh, to solve a problem.